Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying out a Douyin makeup look. Douyin is the Chinese version of TikTok and this makeup look has become very, very popular on that app and now it's kind of trickling all over the world. I'm very excited to try out these techniques on myself because they're very different from what I do on the daily and I've been admiring these makeup looks for months and today's the day that I get to try them out on my own features. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. I'm going to put up my reference photos on screen. Uh, these two looks have really, really caught my eye and I like how they're at a midpoint, not on like the natural side of these makeup looks or the super, super intense ones. I feel like it's a nice happy medium. I'm going to be starting off with my eyes just in case if I mess up, it's easier to wipe away. I'm going to prime my lids with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I'm going for this one because it has a tint and it's going to correct the discoloration of my lids. And I'm going to put a little concealer under my eye just because I'm going to be doing quite a bit of work down there and I want it to be even and so that the shadow has something to grip to. So I'm going to be using this M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. This one has kind of all the tones I need. I'm mostly going to be using the mattes from this palette. So these three right here. I'm going to take a little bit of this contour color and this more bronzier color. And I'm going to put that in my crease just in the middle though. I'm also going to take that mixture and place it on my outer corner. This is the Makeup Forever Total Taupe Liner. And this is just a cool toned liner that's going to help me sketch out the makeup look. I'm going to start on my lower lash line, taking the angle from right under my pupil. I'm going to bring that out pretty much straight. But I'm leaving this space right here blank. And I kind of closed it off a little more than I wanted to, but that's okay because I'm going to be taking this nude pencil to help brighten that up. I'm also going to put a little bit in my waterline. I'm not going to leave it as opaque like that because it looks very obvious. I'm going to blend it out. Leaving that for the moment, I'm going to now do a nice winged liner and I'm going to bring that out a little further than I usually would. And it's going to be thinner than what I'm used to too, like so. And then I'm going to fill it in. Now that I have that sketched out and I'm happy with the shape and the mapping of everything, I'm going to switch over to the shade Limitless Brown. And now I'm going to enhance and darken everything. Now we're going to be placing this pencil into my waterline. We're fading it inward right in here. And I'm also going to be tucking it into my inner corner and then up slightly. I'm taking my Huda Beauty liquid liner and I'm going to kind of reinforce this area here because this is very, very waterproof, whereas this one is not. So this is just going to help with longevity. And I'm also going to be using this pencil to draw on little false lashes here because this is my brand new waterline. I'm kind of fixing my outer corner because I felt like it was a little too close to my natural waterline. So I just exaggerated that a little bit more. So now it's glitter time. So I picked out a few things, these three, my trides and trues. So I'm first going to go in with my NYX Ultimate Glow Shot in the shade Come Through Coconut. This is like the perfect thing for this. It's glittery and a liquid. So you're going to be able to get the really nice kind of cut crease effect with this. So I'm taking this directly with the doe foot and I'm going to kind of sketch a line. And then I'm going to kind of brush over that line with a fluffy brush 
just to diffuse it a little bit because it was a little jagged. And then I'm going to place it all over my lid. They're all about the glow in the center of the eye, but they don't use much highlighter on the cheeks, just on the nose and in the inner corners and on the lids, and sometimes underneath here as well. I'm going to put a little bit of shimmer on my lower lash line, maybe just right there. I used the About Face Pearly Lotus Leaf Shadow Stick. My hopes for this was to lighten right there because I feel like it was getting a little dark. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my Moon Dust eyeshadow in the shade Cosmic from Urban Decay. Okay. just really stack on that glitter and then I'm going to take the rare beauty highlighter in the shade enlighten and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight and kind of right here now I'm taking my Huda Beauty liner once again to create those false lashes and this is definitely the most nerve-wracking part I'm shaking so much and it'll look good with mascara. At least I'm hoping so. <laughs> I feel like there should just be a little bit more connection right there because it looks just like a double wing. So I'm just going to take a little shadow. And I'm going to be putting on some false lashes, but I'm going to put some mascara on first. And I'm using my Makeup Forever Professional and I'm using this side just because it's easier to get into these lower lashes. And of course, we're going to be avoiding the outer corner ones because these are my new outer corner lashes. Uh oh. <laughs> I hate myself. I had to stop. I had to stop filming there because I almost gave up and went to bed. <laughs> I was getting very frustrated. Nothing more glitter can fix, although that mascara sadly kind of like stained. Just because my lash, my fake lashes I drew on here aren't looking the greatest. I was never good at drawing lashes when it came to eyes. So I'm just coating the bottom parts of my lower lashes kind of over, that are overlapping that. Just to kind of make it look more real. Okay, okay, okay. So now for falsies. I have these fun pairs of lashes that I ordered on Amazon. I searched up uh, like anime lashes, but I believe like the correct term for this look is manhua lashes. I have two different styles. This one I feel like the spikier clumps look too long for my liking. I don't know. I just don't really like the look of them compared to the other style. So this is that one. I feel like it just looks too Tim Burton-esque, but I'm going to chop the lash up quite a bit because I feel like this lash band is pretty cheap feeling and it doesn't really bend to the eye that nicely. So by cutting it into smaller clumps, it will hug the contour of my eye better. But that's what the strip lash looks like. Of course, it doesn't fit because it's way too long. Okay, so I'm going to cut clumps leaving two thinner clumps beside it. So I'm left with little chunks like this. And I'm going to take some lash glue and I'm using my Falscara lash glue so I can glue most of these clumps underneath of my lashes for a more natural look. So I'm taking this glue and brushing it all over my lashes. And now I'm going to individually stick these on. And with the last one, I'm going to stick it on top of my lashes and I'm making sure to use a clear lash glue because I don't want that black to stamp on my liner or anything. And I'm also kind of sticking it on a different angle. I'm kind of sticking it on my eyeliner so it gives us that swoop. I'm going to do this eye and I'll be right back. And here are the eyes all done. Isn't makeup cool? <laughs> I freaking love makeup. Wild. My eyes feel huge. Such a fun style. I like the softness with the spiky lashes. It just has 
So many fun qualities. I love this eye look. So now we're going to be moving on to my skin and it's a very different skin finish than what I usually go for. We're going for matte, cloudy, velvety skin that's not very luminous or dewy at all. So I'm going to be using my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I know there's the word luminous in here, but this gives me the most refined kind of cloudy looking skin especially once it's set. So I'm going to be using the shade 4.5 and I'm going to be using quite a bit of it for that full coverage perfected look. And I'm using my BK Beauty 101 brush to apply this. And I used my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen today just to give my skin a little bit more of a matte finish because my Belief Sunscreen just gives me a very, very dewy look to my skin. So that's going to help from this looking dewy on me. Um, and I'm also going to have to really set the center of my skin because I do have an oily complexion and that just makes my makeup look dewy naturally. <laughs> this makeup look just feels so ethereal and pretty and it just feels straight out of a fairy forest to me. So I'm really excited to see how it comes together once I have the base on. Now I'm going to go in with my Lancome All Over Concealer in the shade 250 Warm. Bisque, I think. Yes, and this also has a really nice matte finish. Very airy and very blurring. So they don't really have bronzer or contour on the cheekbones, but a big part of this look is nose contour. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in amber with a fluffy brush. And I know they bring some contour down from this nook here. I'm just going to do it very, very subtly because sometimes my nose looks really weird when it's contoured. That's why I never, ever, ever do it. But just for a hint of structure, I'm going to do a little bit. And I'm just going to exaggerate like my natural nose shape. The tip of my nose is so dry. <laughs> I just been having some weird skin stuff happening. And another reason why I love this look so much is because blush is very important. And I'm going to be using two shades from M Cosmetics from the So Soft Blushes. I'm using Baby and Strawberry. So I'm going to start off with Baby because it's not as pigmented. And they put the blush under the nose, I mean under the eye, and it's not going to surpass the nose. And I'm putting all of these cream products on before I touch any powder, just so that we get that really nice cloudy, velvety, soft matte finish at the end. Because I always blush right here, but never under here, so I wanted to do that today. And now I'm going to amp it up with strawberry. And now for highlighter, I'm taking my Rare Beauty Enlighten and I'm just putting it on my nose. Something really funny happened today. There was another cat outside of my fence while my cats and I were chilling in my backyard and I think it broke Ren's world. He realized that there's other cats that exist in the world and his face was so funny. I thankfully caught it on camera. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he's been having some interesting days. It felt like the perfect opportunity to use my Florisys lipstick, and I think I'm going to use the shade M304, because I have another one. Let me just double check if this is the right one. M304 and M303. Oops, They're, pff, they look the same. I'm just gonna use M303 actually. But I'm first applying this MAC Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade Teddy 2.0, just to mute this out a little bit because I think it's too vibrant on its own. And I'm taking the point of the lipstick to kind of line my lips. And then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. Now we can go in with some setting powder. For under my eye, I'm going to use the white Huda Beauty setting powder, and then the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Kosas Cloud Set. Seemed fitting. And I'm using the Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Breezy. And 
and I'm putting this all over. And finally for brows, they are always subtly defined, but they're not like super carved out. So I'm just going to fill them in with the Rare Beauty Brow Powder in the shade Auburn. And then I'm going to set my brows with a clear brow gel. The blush seems off, so I'm going to take a little bit of that lipstick I went in with. And I'm just going to add a whisper of this color in there because it was just looking disconnected and off. And here is the finished makeup look all done. What do you guys think? I am obsessed with the eyes. And I really enjoy the skin finish. I just, I'm missing a little bit of bronzer for me and my personal taste, but it's still very fun to see all of the concentration of the look in the center of my face. I just love the highlighted portion right here. I feel like it gives such an interesting look to the eyes. I love the clumpy lashes, the whole lot of glitter and the definition. It was so fun to create this eye look through and through. Let me know if you'd like to see another rendition of this makeup look, maybe doing one of the other variations. There's one that I have in mind that kind of has like a butterfly effect to the eyes. That would be really cool to do. That is all from me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will make sure to link everything I used in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.